What's going on? We back at it again, and you know what time it is. The first game with the bearded one. The first game, man. Crazy, crazy. Big win over the Minnesota Timberwolves. 133-102 last night. And I was just amazed in so many different ways. We Look, we had expectations. We had things we thought could happen. But the way that they were able to gel and just straight up dominate, let's be honest. Last night was was really impressive. James Harden, 27 points, 7 of 12 from field goals, um, 5 of 7 from Yanni Ark, 8 of 9 from the free throw line, getting to the line, 8 rebounds, 12 assists, almost had a triple-double in his first game as a sixer. Just think about that. Breathe that in. <sighs> Exhale. Think about what just happened. Even if he would have got 5 points, it would have been five more points than Ben Simmons scored in any game this season. Just let's give him a round of applause. Good job, James Harden, your first game. And we're going to get to how good he was. But let's go ahead and look at two of the other people that were obviously standouts in this game. Joel Embiid goes off 34 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists, 10 of 18 from the field, 3 of 5 from beyond the arc. 11 of 13 from the line. And a lot of that was because of James Harden giving him dimes. Hell, there were a couple passes where JoJo, after the game, mentioned that I wasn't even expecting the ball. Like, he fumbled one going through the lane and missed a layup because the ball was right on the money. He wasn't even expecting it. So I think that's a sign of good things to come with how easy, the type of easy looks that James Harden is going to be able to get, not just Embiid, but other players like Tobias Harris, who only had six points, but he had those two threes on very, very good dimes from James Harden, especially the first one, because James Harden was coming up court, and um, it wasn't quite a no-look pass, but he just, whew, just passed it so quickly. Hit Tobias in transition, and the defense didn't even have time to recover to even contest the shot. Easy three. And he's going to get a lot of good looks like that from James Harden because he's going to get double team at times, they're going to have to crash down on James Harden when he's driving the lane. And B got some easy layups just because James Harden was driving in and had a quick dish off to the big man in the paint. And then Tyrese Maxey, 28 points, 12 of 16 from the field. Phenomenal. 2 of 3 from beyond the arc, 2 of 2 from the line, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. Maxey had a really good game, had a couple really nice floaters in the lane. And hit it. he was just he looked like he was moving at a different speed than everybody else on the court. Highly impressive. That's more encouraging than anything because it kind of, I'm not going to say it, I don't, you know, I'm not going to say it is that, but it looked like a big three. Tyrese Maxey, if that's your third best scoring option, look out. Look out, man. But great debut from the whole squad. Danny Green has some open threes from the corner. He hit some open threes. Uh, Niang got some good looks from the corner. And let's go back and look at James Harden. He hit three to four step back threes that were just beautiful. He hit one step back three early in the game for AM1. And I was just like, yo, he's cutting up already. And then he had a three-pointer from the corner with the shot clock about to expire. Just drained it. I mean, those are the shots that he, he can make up for a bad, bad possession with a shot that Regular guys aren't supposed to make. And then he had one later in the game against Carl Anthony Towns. Just alone in the sleep and then stepped back and then hit the three right in his face. Boom. And then all all Cat could do was laugh. Like, because cause it's like, it's so simple what he's doing. But it's the threat of him passing that makes it so effective. That step back. And he's able to actually drain that shot. Dog. At one point. James Harden had 17 points on six shots, which is crazy. So, you know, all in all, great debut. I, I love what I saw. And, look, let's not get too high with this game. We're going to have some highs, some lows. But, all in all, I like the way they started out. The concern was that, are they going to be able to play together? Two guys that are ball dominant. And I think that we're seeing some of the early answers and that would be, yes, some of the early indications that this is going to be successful. So, And then nothing was better than the press conference. They go to sit down, and then 
<laughs> James Howard is looking at the script, getting ready for questions from reporters. And then Joel B grabs a bottle of water, opens it, and starts drinking it. And then he, like, crushes the bottle and just, like, then there inhales the, the bottle of water. And James Harden is looking at him like, this is what I have to look forward to for the rest of this year, but not in a bad way. And you can already see that it's going to be a carnival, but in a good way, man. I'm, I'm really going to – I think we're going to have fun seeing this team gel together and just show us what personality they have. Similar to what we saw with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler just came in and he was that personality where he just made it fun. And I think James Harden is going to make this fun. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, that's all. Let me know what you guys think about this. And we're going to get ready for tomorrow's game back on the East Coast New York against the Knicks tomorrow. And uh, we'll get the second look at the squad. Go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so you know every time I'm dropping a video. And holla at your boy. See y'all next time. Peace.